Hey, good morning, and welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. I have Wind Warbler set up with MMTTY for my RIDI mode, and I'm using FSK. Okay, as I said, I'm using Wind Warbler with MMTTY. I'll show you how to get it set up here. Let me point out a couple of things first, though. I'm using the ICOM 7610. And if you have the 7610, boy, it's real easy to get this going. And uh, you want to install your USB cable on the USB 2 port on the back of the 7610, not that blue port. That blue one is the high-speed USB 3 port. So plug your cable into that 2 port, but before you do that, install the driver from ICOM. And then when you connect your radio to your computer, you'll end up with two COM ports. And I have another video on the virtual serial COM ports and the 7610. I'll put a link below. But you come up with two COM ports, and we're going to be using both of these. Please take a look at that video. It goes into a little bit more detail. But mine are named COM4 and COM5. Let me minimize that. And I'll show you in uh, Commander, I am using COM4. I'm going to go to Config and the ports. So for rig control, I'm using COM4. And then for the FSK keying, you'll see I'm using COM5. Okay, let's take a look at how to set up MMTTY. And you'll want to install that. You can go to the website, and I'll put a link below. Install MMTTY. And once you have Win Warbler installed and MMTTY, click on the Config button. And then go to the RIDI tab. And in this area, the only thing that I changed, the FSK for lower sideband, transceiver mode to RIDI. And then the FSK control is the EXT FSK64. That's a little plug-in that installs with MMTTY. I'm using a 64-bit system, so I'm using the 64. If you're on a 32-bit system, you'd probably choose this. All right, and let's uh, take a look at the MMTTY setup. I'll click there and go over to the first tab. And this is real easy. Didn't have to change anything in here. Second tab, same deal. Didn't change anything. Nothing had to change in there. It's the transmit tab that we want to change the diddle on. If it's not set to LTR, you'll want to select that. And the push to talk in FSK is the EXT FSK64. Didn't have to do anything for the radio command. We'll go over to the miscellaneous tab and in the transmit port, this bottom one COM TXD is checked. Click on the USB port and the processing method I just left to normal. That seems to be working well. And then on the sound card, the reception is, I've renamed this you'll probably see USB audio codec. So whether you're using the 7300 or the 7610, choose the USB audio codec. And then on the transmission, I have a blank set down there. Because we're using the EXT FSK64 plug-in. I'm going to click OK. And now I have Win Warbler, and you should see uh, your waterfall going. And this EXT FSK plugin is usually minimized. And that's what it looks like down here. This little icon. I've got it pulled up. I'm using uh, COM5. And again, that's the, uh, the second COM port that I have with my 7610. The FSK output is set to DTR. And uh, that is also set into the radio. And I'll put a link below of some screenshots that I have of the 7610 and the 7300. 
You should see a status of OK. Push the talk and set to TXD. And if I just click the start button, you'll hear what it sounds like and you'll see some scrolling. That's just a test. So it's ready to go. Now I can call CQ. Okay, I'm just using the macros that came with WinWarbler for RIDI. It's the RIDI sample macros. I just changed the color of a button there. I've also put in uh, the alternates uh, for me. I changed a few and put them in there. I use those to make contacts, but the sample should work for you. And boy, that's a, another whole video doing macros for this program. But it's not very hard once you get used to it and uh, entering in the information that you want. Of course, it's a lot of trial and error. You'll, you'll send a transmission and not like it and then want to go back in and change it. But this works for uh, DX contacts or short contacts. Okay, that's what it looks like. If you have any comments or questions, please make them below. I'll put an article on my website and I'll put a link below to it. And it will give you a little bit more information on it. I'll provide the snapshots or screenshots of the 7610 and the 7300. And show what you need to change in the radio to get this going. I also have some videos and articles on MMTTY and the ICOM 7300. Also uh, MMTTY and N1MM Logger. So uh, lots of reference material out there. I hope you find this useful and informative. Wind Warbler works really well. I've been enjoying it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And tell your friends. Oh look. There's somebody.